Hi everyone, welcome back to the Reddit Drama Channel with another Reddit cheating story. Before we start, please hit the subscribe button and like the video if you enjoy it. Also, please click the notification bell so you won't miss when another cheating story goes live. These simple clicks mean a lot to our channel, and thank you for your support. She said it was a no boys party then I saw her Facebook post where she. Hey everyone, this is an old story. The thing is I can't get over it and it's pushing me away from some great opportunities with amazing girls. This is the thing, when I was 18 years old, I met my ex-girlfriend of 19 years old at college, let's call her S. Our friendship really was fast. S and I just sat together in a meeting with some other students of our career study and we were all just getting to know each other. You know. What's our names, hobbies, favorite things to do, etc. One person asked the other sitting next to them, so it was my turn to ask the person next to me. When I turned to ask S those questions, something felt really good about it. I looked her in the eyes, she had beautiful sparkly brown eyes. It was like love at first sight. She looked at me and she started blushing. I knew then, something clicked, right then and there. So we just started talking and talking and just getting to know each other much better. We would go out not even realizing it was like mini dates. Just walking in parks, going to the movies, going for long walks but they weren't planned. We would just be walking after class and just bump across the way with movie theaters, restaurants, parks and we would just go in and enjoy time together. I realized then that I was falling for her. One day I didn't go to class cause I got sick and the next day she saw me, ran towards me, hugged me and then said what happened? I missed you. I just said it's fine, I just got sick and couldn't come she looked so worried and I enjoyed that moment hugging her. After that, I knew she was the one I had to be with. A few weeks passed and I asked her out for the first time and she obviously said yes. We went on a picnic and I asked her to be my girlfriend and she said I was wondering when you were gonna ask me that and said of course. I was celebrating so hard on the inside and calm on the outside and I remember saying to myself she's the one I'm so lucky to have her you deserve no more than her and all of the positive things someone would say to themselves. But boy was I wrong. Nine months into our relationship, now I'm 19 and S is 20. I was so blinded by love that I did not see any red flags. One day S says I'm going to my friend's birthday party, I said I'll come with since I know all her friends, then she says it's only girls night, no boys and so I got this feeling that something wasn't right because she never pushed me away like that. I was texting her through WhatsApp and it was going through, but she didn't read it. So I realized by going through her Instagram account, she had blocked me in WhatsApp too, I rarely use social media accounts, so I went to open my Facebook account but she didn't block me so I saw what she was posting, worst decision ever. She posted a photo kissing some random dude in the party that said you're the greatest. I was broken slash shattered whatever you'd like to call it I felt betrayed. So then, I didn't block her in any account, I just didn't reply back. She'd send text after text and I just couldn't read them, I was a mess. I loved her so much, she was my first real relationship and she blew IT. The day we had class, she asked me why I didn't answer back, but I just said I had a family issue and did not have the chance to look into my phone. So she then hugged me and said everything's going to be okay, love you, I almost threw up. After a week I told her we had to talk. We met at a park and I showed her the photo of her with another guy kissing at her friend's birthday party with no boys policy. She started crying, making a scene at the park, everyone just staring at her, they all thought I hurt her. Some dude came and asked what's going on? Her scream scared everyone at the park. I told the guy nothing I didn't want to involve other people, but the scene she was making had people getting involved. So the guy started pulling me away with force and S said he's not at fault, I am and the guy let go. I was so weak from the pain inside so I did nothing. My cell phone was on the ground, the guy picked it up and saw the pic of her with some dude that wasn't me and said oh, she cheated? I said yeah so then, everyone understood what was happening and the guy just said come dude, I got you let's go get drunk and enjoy with other girls. We just left my ex sitting on the grass crying her eyes out. Now, here is where I need help. It's been six full years since I've dated anyone else. Every time I met some really nice girl, liked her and got the opportunity to date, I would just remember what I went through and push them away or just ghost them without an explanation. I'm stuck and scarred for life with that experience that I don't want to go through again, it's the worst. How can I get over that? Update, I went into therapy and had several sessions. Let me tell you, during the sessions, I recovered a really deep memory that my grandpa had cheated on my grandma and that was the cause that I had been single all those six years. 
the therapist told me that was a huge heartbreak experience that my mind just blocked it and it was a major break for me because after this rediscovery, I was going to be able to get to know people and open up to some possible relationships. He wasn't wrong. After that, I was able to see this girl that was onto me for some time and I asked her out. We have been going out for two weeks now and are getting to know each other better. I have to admit, this is a huge step for me. I am a 23-year-old guy and she is a 27 soon-to-be 28-year-old girl. She's my type, I like everything about her, I don't even mind the age gap, I'm always happy spending time with her and starting to think that she may be my new girlfriend. For that, I'm not really ready yet. I have to wait a little longer for that to happen. I just learned that she got cheated on too in her last relationship a year ago. She says it's been a year since she has gone out with someone. I really like this girl. Two days ago we went out to a coffee shop, we were sitting in my car and chatting for an hour outside her house and she brings out the age gap that we have. I told her I didn't mind that, but she said people are going to be asking how old we are and we would have to explain why we're together with such an age gap. I replied we just say that age doesn't matter. I tried to stop the conversation there because I was getting a bad emotion from her, like she has a problem with it. I know it's common for girls to be with older guys but it's not the case with us, it's backwards, I am young and she is older. I said look, it's only an age gap of 5 years, it's not a big problem, if someone has a problem with it, then that's their problem. After that she smiled and was able to go home happy. I think that answer made her feel comfortable. We are now trying to see when we're going out again. I asked her today when we could see each other and she texts me this. I wanted to tell you something, I didn't think I was going to go out with you because I didn't know you. After we met, I could tell you're a nice guy, funny and open to be around with. Here comes the but. As you know, I'm 27 years old, STB 28, and as I said, I have lived once with someone and I have gone through many experiences before and after my mom passed away. Those past experiences make me think differently and since you're just starting to go out, I think, I don't know if I'm getting ahead with myself, before we could be a couple, we need to know about each other a lot more. We are going out constantly and that scares me because although you're different from my ex, that's how things started with him and he cheated on me and the one that ended badly was me. Because of my age, I can't tolerate that to happen again. I wouldn't like to be cheated on again. I obviously, when we were on our second date, told her about my experience and made her know that I would not cheat ever. She got that message clear the first time I told her, so that message was something out of the blue for her to send. I don't know what to think about it. I don't know if she even wants to be with me. I told her to take her time, think about things, talk things out with someone and let me know as soon as she has an answer for me. That was this noon, I'm still waiting for her response. I just really hope she wants to try something with me, I really think we would be an amazing couple. I have not spoken to my therapist about this. I don't know what I want from this. I'm going to talk to my therapist about this in my next session. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell for any future cheating stories.